Hey, look who's here. <laughs> Princess Meow Meow! Hey everybody, welcome to Mere Minutes! Those of you who might be new to woodworking for mere mortals may not know that I have another channel called Mere Minutes, which is my vlog channel where I would post updates of things around the shop and things in my life, much more personal channel. And I haven't posted anything on Mere Minutes in probably about six months. And a lot of you regular viewers have been asking me when are you gonna post again on Mere Minutes? We miss it, we wanna see you some more. And so I've been giving it a lot of thought and I came to the conclusion that it just makes sense to post those on this channel. So I don't know if I'll post the Mere Minutes regularly on this channel or just from time to time, but I think it'll be a fun addition to Woodworking for Mere Mortals and I hope you enjoy them. I wanted to address something about this past week's video, these wacky corner frames. And a lot of you were asking me how I hung these on the wall and I thought I shot a bit showing that, but I must not have. I think the easiest way to attach this to the wall is just to use some Velcro strips. Velcro strips work really well to hang things on walls. Usually, I never have a problem with it. I have things that have been hanging on the walls for several years and have never come off. However, this frame, the inside corner frame, fell off the wall last week when I was down at VidCon. I'll talk more about VidCon in a second fell off the wall and crashed to the floor. And I think the reason why, a couple of reasons, is that I only put the strips here, here, and here. I didn't put one on this side because of the angle of my walls. It wasn't a really good 90 degree and it didn't fit. I probably should have put another strip here, but maybe I didn't squish it on there hard enough. I don't know, but the other reason it might have been is that it was super hot here last week and we don't have air conditioning in the house, so maybe when it got up to like 100 degrees, the, the adhesive melted or something, I don't know. But it was just on this frame. But here's the good part about all of this is that the frame held together perfect. I was really happy to see that no damage became of the frame. The interesting thing was right here, a chip came out of the acrylic, the plexiglass, it's like just, cracked and a little piece fell out of it. So it's not that big of a deal. You really don't even notice it, so I'm not gonna bother to replace the plexi. But I was pretty happy that my frame held up crashing to the floor. Hey, a lot of you were really observant and pointed out Princess Meow Meow's cameo in this past week's video. Gluing this all together is going to be a challenge. It was so short, it didn't even warrant her little jingle. So yeah, I was at VidCon last week and this was the fourth year that we've been to VidCon. Wyatt and I both go every year. And it's it's always a lot of fun for us. This year we went to the, the concert on the opening night. We saw Jason Derulo and Grace Vanderwall and it was, it was really a fun concert. Hey, I hope you guys have been enjoying my live shows too. I've been doing those on Fridays after I post my regular video to answer some of your questions and try to trying to explore a topic on each of my live shows. And the one that I did this week was on tool maintenance. I took your tool maintenance tips and showed some of those on in my shop how to clean off the tabletops of my bandsaw and table saw. I may move the live show to a different day so that there's more time to generate comments in the YouTube video that I can answer. But if you have any suggestions for topics that you'd like to see on a Woodworking for Mere Mortals live show, leave them down in the comments. I also wanna mention that I won't be posting my project videos as frequently throughout this summer because I am working on a huge project, the biggest project I think I've ever taken on, which is a woodworking course. And I hope to get this thing running and up and to you by early this fall. But it's taking up a lot of my time and I really need to focus on that if I'm gonna get this thing done. So I'll still be posting project videos, but they might be every other Friday or sometimes every Friday, I don't know, it just kind of depends upon how the how my time works out. By the way, stay up to date on all things Mere Mortals by subscribing to my email newsletter. It's free, there's a link down in the description. Hey, it was that time of the year again for the Marin County Fair. Marin County is where I live, the fair is in San Rafael. And every year I try to enter some of my projects into the 
craft competitions and see how I do. This year, I entered a number of projects, but the, the one that did big was my pair of toddler chairs. Remember from last year's Maker Care fundraiser? And they came in first place, so I was thrilled about that. Hey, Wyatt was in the fair too. He performed a song. Here's a clip. If it had a pierced tongue, that wouldn't matter. If you once were in jail or you once were a man. If your mother and your brother had relations with each other and your father was connected to the Gaudi clan, I'd say, well, nobody's perfect. Speaking of Maker's Care, we're already working on this year's Maker's Care fundraiser. Sneak preview, the theme this year is going to be make time for play. And so I think there's gonna be a lot of toys involved, but think now of how you can interpret that theme. As always, we'll have prizes and sponsors and hopefully we can raise a lot of money. This year we're raising money for the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Stay tuned, get the newsletter, and I'll keep you informed of all of that when it's happening and how you can get involved. Hey, by the way, I wanted to remind all of you that I still have tons of Woodworking for Mere Mortals stickers to give away, like a thousand of them. So. If you want one, just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. You don't have to put a note or anything in there. And I've got an address down in the description and I'll, I'll send you out one. Woodworking stickers were kind of like last year's fidget spinner. I wanna thank all of you over on Patreon who continue to support the show over there. If you're not aware, we've added the $10 level and so we have a, a few people on there now and what we're doing is we're doing monthly live chats where we, we can get together on Zoom and we can all talk to each other. And I, this first one we did last week was, it was a couple of people showed up but dropped out. So I don't know if the connection wasn't stable uh, for that time or what was going on. But then uh, I was able to talk to one of you for a long time. So that was really nice. So hey, get in early if you can on that $10 level and we can just have a chat. My goal today, clean up this shop, get it back in order, nice and neat, so I can mess it up again. <laughs>